So we got some unfortunate news for Braves pitcher Waska Yunoa. Uh, he suffered a broken right hand um, after he punched the dugout bench following a poor start against the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, and he's going to be out for a couple of months as a result. So, yeah, I mean, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, get mad, just try not to break your bones. I guess that's the lesson here. Uh, and I have a quote from Braves manager Brian Snicker here. He said, "And I quote: I knew he had done it, and it was sore, but in the flight, it started bothering him more. They checked it this morning; it was a fracture. It's a shame. Uh, you know what is a is four and two? He has a three point oh two ERA, which is not only the lowest ERA on the Braves pitching side, but it's, he also has the most wins." And um, he ended up giving up five earned runs in the start versus the uh, Milwaukee Brewers, which, you know, I'd be pretty frustrated, too, if I'm in that position. Uh, and before that start, Mario, he only allowed one earned run in, in his previous three starts before that game, which is pretty impressive. You know, someone's got to step up for that Braves pitching staff since that, you know, that team really isn't doing as good as we expect. Um, and, yeah, Mario, their ace Mike Soroka is still out. So for him to be down as well and Mike Soroka – it's not looking good for the Braves, Mario. So before I pass on to you, the article was written by ESPN News Services. So I'll let you start off first. What do you think of all this going on with the Atlanta Braves? Well, first of all, you know, it's very tough for the Atlanta Braves, obviously. Uh, now, you go into Wasker, you know, it's very unfortunate for him as well. And the reason why Nate, is because he's having a career year. I mean, when you really look at his stats this year, I mean, you really did say him, Nate, 3.02 ERA. He's only let go of 16 runs. He's let go of 36 hits. And he's pitched 44.2 innings. And like you said, his record is four and two. So when you really think about it, Nate, he might be, he might be the Atlanta Braves best pitcher. And again, like you talked about with Mike Soroka, he's obviously out as well. So this is obviously unfortunate for the Braves. But again, this is why as an athlete, see, it's very tough to be an athlete. You know, some people are, when this is, this is what I, I don't like Nate. Okay. You'll see athletes and, you know, they'll get mad. And, you know, they'll like, they'll, for instance, like a football, they'll slam a helmet or a basketball, they'll go to their bench and they'll like yell. And then we automatically go to the assumption of, oh, well, they're a crybaby. They're a drama queen. But instead, that's not the case. You know, they have emotions just like us. Doesn't mean they're professional athletes and they're celebrities. Doesn't mean that they don't have emotions and they don't have feelings. They're not robots. You know, they're actual people and actual people get mad, you know. Whether it's a kid playing video games and he, and, he, and he throws his controller or he slams it down, obviously. But again, this is the this is the problem. He obviously, I believe he he was mad and he punched and he punched a wall, right? Is that what happened? I punched the dugout bench. Dugout bench. Okay, so he punched the dugout bench. Now, obviously, again, it's very unfortunate because he broke because he broke his hand and now he's got to be out for a few months. You know. But with baseball players, Nate, you know, there's times where they're just, they, again, they, they have those like little things that tick them off or they get angry. And, and again, you know, sometimes their emotions get the best of them. As an athlete, though, the best thing for you to do is try your best to stay composed. That's the best. We're not, I'm not going to go out here and be like, oh, this dude's a drama queen or this dude's, a, or this dude's a crybaby. I'll say that about any athletes. Okay. I really don't. I've seen athletes, you know, uh, get mad and I've seen them yell and everything like that. But I don't call them crybabies or like drama queens like a lot of other people do because that's not what they are. Okay, they're human beings before anything, just like us. You know, they were they were born just like us. You know, they went through the whole evolution of life just like us. So it's not right to call them crybabies, and it's not right to, you know, talk to really put them down and give them more negativity when they're outraged or whatever. In this case, uh, you know, again, he he ended up getting angry. He punched the dugout bench and he ended up breaking his wrist. His anger got the best of him. Now, the lesson here for him to learn is to be composed, you know, keep your composure. Sometimes it is very, very hard for humans to do, you know, any human beings, especially athletes, because there's so much, there's so much pressure on them, Nate, to do the right things. There's so much pressure. So sometimes it is really hard for them, but you know what? And you know, his case, hopefully he can learn from this again. Hopefully he can realize like, I got to be more composed. I can't let my anger get the best of me because if my anger gets the best of me, it could make me do things that I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be doing, or it could, instead of benefiting me, it can, it could really negatively affect what I'm doing. So, and you know, this case, you know, I wish him a speedy recovery again, because a, a broken, a broken hand really is not, again, it's something that you really don't want to have, especially considering the fact that he's a pitcher. That is one of the most important parts of his body, especially as a pitcher. So with that being said, you know, I hope, you know, uh, uh, learns from this. I hope he has a speed of recovery. I hope he comes back and I hope he takes those lessons from what he happened to him. And I hope that he applies them to, to his future and his future career in the MLB. 
Right, absolutely. You know, um, and you know, going back to the whole um, you know, uh, emotion thing, I absolutely agree. You know, I, I'd be lying to you if I said that I haven't gotten mad because I threw a bad outing or because I struck out in a mo- in a very critical situation and things like that. I would be lying to you to say if I I didn't get mad in those situations. We all do it, you know, and that's why I can't stand it. You know, when people call us athletes crybabies and like is there a limit to it absolutely you know i've had teammates throw bats in the dugout and almost kill teammates and throw their helmets on the ground and smash them into pieces that you know obviously there's there's limits to that you know baseball players sometimes snap their bats or whatever the case might be obviously there's limits to that but you can't call us crybabies and you know i'm i'll say i'll say like this okay you call us crybabies why don't you get your ass on the field and do what we do i i I guarantee you you won't know you won't know what you're doing I'm just going to say, I'm just going to lay it there just like that. But you know what? Um, obviously right here, you know, he had, you know, he kind of got upset and as a result, he hurt himself, you know, now obviously like Mario said, the lesson is, and like I said in the beginning of the video, you know, if you're going to get mad, you know, don't break bone because it's going to hurt you. So, you know, that's, that's pretty much the lesson that y'all need to learn here. Pretty much the lesson uh, Wasser, you know, what needs to learn. Um, and I'm, and I hope he does, you know, and, and obviously, you know, whether he learns or not, I still wish him the best of luck moving forward. But uh, as for the Atlanta Braves, you know, the next man up's got to survive. He's going to be out for a couple of months. So they're just going to have to figure it out. You know, the NL East right now is not is basically the NFC East, pretty much. It, it's, it's, it's trash. And I love to see it because I like seeing trash teams try to compete for a damn division. I just love to see it. I don't know why, but I do. But look, uh, as for, uh, going back to the Atlanta Braves, you know, best of luck to them. Next man up's got to survive. That's what they got to do the next couple months. Um, same thing with every other team in the NLE. You know, best of luck to you guys, and we'll just see what happens moving forward.